This is Kenneth Duran of the Los Angeles Times, and this is my DVD pick of the week. Today, I'm going to go back to the West, to classic westerns made by great directors. Top of the list is My Darling Clementine, directed by John Ford, the master director of Western films. This is the story of the shootout at the OK Corral with Henry Fonda playing Wyatt Earp. This is released by Criterion Collection. As usual with Criterion, there are tons of extras to make your viewing more involving. Pair of room for you. Can I help you, ma'am? Oh. Dad's usually here to take care of the... Is that your duffel up there? Yes. Alice, just give me a stack of buckwheat cakes and plenty of molasses and a steak, blood rare, a couple of hunks of bacon if you got some, and a big pot of... John Holiday. You mean Doc Holiday? Well, I imagine so. Oh, Doc Holiday. Why, he rode out of town about 3 o'clock this morning, heading south. I don't know when he'll be back, man. He'll most likely be back supper time. Maybe you'd like to have some breakfast freshen up a bit. Oh, I would like some coffee. Have you got a room for Miss... Carter. Clementine Carter. There are also out recently two westerns by an underappreciated director, a man named Anthony Mann, who was a marvelous director and whose westerns were especially good. Uh, the Naked Spur stars Jimmy Stewart. If you remember Jimmy Stewart from It's a Wonderful Life, you're not going to recognize him here. He plays a ruthless bounty hunter who will stop at nothing to get his man. All right, get up. Come on, get up. Here you are, Tate. That settles us. I'm much obliged to you. Thanks. Say, Mr. Kemp, now you got two of them to handle. Maybe you're still of a mind to hire up help. This is my job. I'll do it. Make you feel any better, Sheriff. You can make me deputy, official-like. You ain't letting on like you was a sheriff or something, are you, Holly? Why, sure he is. Ain't he? He told me he was a peace officer. I don't know why you should do that. No matter who gets me, the reward still holds. How's that? Ain't you showed him my picture, Holly? I seen a paper saying he was wanted. Nothing about no reward. Maybe he ain't got a good copy like I have. Is that what he showed you? How much? Says 5,000. Why, well, you talk like you know it all along. Why else would a man tear off the bottom of a poster? I'm taking him back, and I'm going to do it alone. You didn't catch him alone. You was going round and round until you run into me. You were hired to do a job and you were paid for it. You ain't gonna buy my claim in this for no $20. What about him? He done the climbing, didn't he? Could have gotten killed, too. Tell you what, I'll settle for a third. How about you, Jesse? Share and share alike? That's the way it is. Unless you're of a mind to kill us all. Looks like you got yourself a couple of partners, Howie. Ah, oh, quit acting like we was friends. You. Maybe we sat down at the same card game once or twice, but that don't mean dirt to me now. You shot a man in the back, and I'm taking you in to hang for it. It wasn't Ben that killed that man. It's him they're paying the reward on. Now, oh, where are your horses? Back of the rock. Lena's horse got a belly full of disease. He can't travel. He can. All right, come on, let's go. Come on. Also, newly out is Man of the West. This stars Gary Cooper as a former outlaw who is 
reunited with his old gang, has to pretend he still is an outlaw. The gang is headed by Lee J. Cobb, who does a terrific job playing a demented, ancient gang leader who was as scary as he is old. You know who I heard was on that train? Ah, that's right. He's here. Ready, they'll be coming for us. Lee. I never met a man like you before. Men I meet all think they have a right to put their hands on me. Like it comes with the introduction. All those lonely ones looking for some kind of special thrill. I know what they're going to say before they say it. Funny part is, inside of me, I'm just as lonely as they are. I don't really have anybody. We're a lot alike. I never had any family, just that old man down there. And he took care of me. <laughs> he taught me killing and stealing. I didn't know any better. But one day I grew up. There's a point where you either grow up and become a human being or you rot like that bunch. So I busted away. I found something better. I made myself a home. <laughs> 